Hey guys, this is Molly from PTE Magic. So I recently did another PTE test. Uh, you know, I'll do it once in a while just to see if my tips are working and also to experience uh, for myself the exam environment um, and also the exam flow so that I can understand my students better by putting myself in their shoes. So I set the test yesterday at uh, Pearson Sydney Bridge Street and got my result this morning. One of the reasons to show you this score report is because you know sometimes I get questions if my tips and tricks are only working for Pearson Smoke Test or do they also work for real test. And as you know the official Pearson Smoke Test uses the same marking algorithm as the real test. The only major difference is that the timing in the real test is much more stricter and it's also very intense in comparison to the mock test. And another thing that is dramatically different from the mock test is the actual noise uh, from other candidates while you're doing speaking. And that noise uh, can potentially affect uh, your performance as well as distract you from doing the task. So anyways, if you have been watching my videos, you probably already witnessed um, how you know I managed to score 90 out of 90 for speaking as well as uh, you know 90 for fluency and pronunciation every single time. In one of my previous video, I did mention how microphone position and microphone quality can affect uh, your score. So today, I'm going to show you how I position my microphone during the exam. However, if you're not my YouTube subscriber yet, click the subscribe button below so that you can see more videos about various PTE tips and tricks. So for the start, what I have here in front of me is exactly the same headset model that they use uh, in PTE test rooms. Uh, I'm not quite sure about other countries, but this is what they used uh, in Australia. Yeah, um, it's Plantronic uh, Audio 655 DSP. Yeah. So you can get this one um, on eBay. Um, and I bought it for $73.20 uh, Australian dollars um, and you can see all the features uh, of these headphones um, just in the description box and one of them is um, noise cancelling microphone with adjustable boom before I show you how I place my headset in the exam room, let's have a look at uh, different uh, microphone positions and see if they are working properly. So the first position that I sometimes see in the exam room is when people uh, put their microphone on the same level as their mouse and then they uh, put it closer so that you know they don't have to speak too loud and um, also they think that that way computer can catch everything that they are saying yeah? uh, so let's check I'm here now and I'm ready to start learning I'm here now and I'm ready to start learning. So from here, you can see that never place uh, your microphone close to your mouth because it will create a plosive sound which can actually affect your score. This computer can also catch unnecessary uh, noises that can disrupt uh, your speaking. So number two common position is uh, when you place your headset on the same level as your mouse, not too close, uh, probably two or three centimeters uh, away from your mouth. This should be an appropriate microphone position, but it's not actually suitable for everyone. Let's pretend that we are in the exam room. So I'm going to use um, you know, a sample of uh, speaking of another candidate as if uh, someone is sitting next to me, okay? Normalcy requirement. Like this one? At least to 
Arabic medical faculty travel last I'm month here to now and I'm ready to start learning. I'm here now and I'm ready to start learning. So I feel that the, my breathing sounds uh, and also some static sounds have been captured as well in my speech. I really want to make sure that my speech is clear and uh, everything that I'm saying is easy to understand. The third common microphone position is uh, when people place uh, the microphone above their nose. That way computer will not be able to catch uh, your breathing. Yeah, so let's test that. US I'm here now and I'm ready to start learning. I'm here now and I'm ready to start learning. Clearly this position works uh, because you know now I can't hear any breathing sound but doing this way I will have to speak louder which is a bit uncomfortable because I will have to maintain the same volume across uh, you know all the tasks in speaking uh, for like around 40 minutes. And also, I can still hear external sounds being recorded into my microphone. So you must be wondering, what is the perfect microphone position and uh, which one do I use in my exam? The thing is, every individual is different and you know, everyone has their own microphone pr preference. Yeah, so personally, for me, I normally will put a microphone yeah, still the same way, closer to my mouse. Yeah, two to three centimeters away from my mouth and then I will use the right hand to cover my nose yeah as, as I speak but also if the exam is quite noisy yeah the exam um, I mean the exam room is quite noisy and I can hear other people like speaking loudly next to me I will also like use this hand here to cover to make sure that my voice is clear and it's not capturing too much of uh, external sounds. So let's try it, yeah. Now and I'm ready to start learning. I'm here now and I'm ready to start learning. I'm here now and I'm ready to start learning. Basically just like one hand like this and then another one put it here but just be careful with your mouse make sure that you are fast enough to click next when I speak and then... never commence your test uh, without testing your microphone properly and make sure that you say the whole sentence instead of one word anyways I hope today's video was helpful and as you know everyone is different and to stick with whatever works for you if you have any questions just comment below and um, also please don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, and I hope you pass your test soon. Bye!